Ed Hemingway, who bears some resemblance to Papa, could write a book about how horses are in his blood. When I was five years old, I was driving mules through the cornfield, and, and I'm still following horses today. He runs cowboy carriages, his son runs Hemingway carriages, and they tend to the well-being of Annie, Lily, Doc, Rose, and more than a dozen other beauties at this West End stable. In here, they're in perfect health, they're in the perfect condition, they're safe to work on the street. I raised Lily right here in Cincinnati. She was born right out that back door. They're a magnet for tourists, a livelihood for carriage operators, and an elegant picture postcard advertisement for the city. But to animal rights critics, they're exploited inhumanely for profit, and they ask city lawmakers to rein in the entire industry and not renew a half dozen licenses for 2022. Those who favor a ban say carriages are hard on the animals and unsafe on the streets. This is nothing personal to anyone. Um, it's just protecting the horses, protecting uh, our small businesses and protecting people. Some restaurants with outdoor seating don't appreciate horses leaving their calling cards after clip-clopping by. And it's, it's kind of sad to think about some person or some people of the city would want you to leave just because a horse poop don't smell good. I mean, what kind does? But a slim majority of lawmakers didn't want to throw drivers out of work, especially as holidays approach and riding a carriage through downtown is part of that scene. Now, the idea was to eliminate commercial carriages and leave them just for special occasions like parades and weddings and that sort of thing. But now for 35 a pop, you can ride on into the future. Morning live at City Hall, John London, WWT News Bob. John, first of all, he makes a great point about horse waste. Um, <laughs> secondly, as you know, a new council will be sworn in early January. Yeah. Could they resurrect the proposal to ban carriages? Yeah, they, they could, Mike. Uh, but, uh, you know, the author of the ordinance, Chris Seelbach, is term limited, so he will be gone. There are a, a couple who voted today for the ban who will be back, but talked to one of them and um, said not likely uh, because there's just so much on the plate uh, that this would probably not be a priority for the new council. You've got gun violence, affordable housing, pedestrian safety, a lot of other issues to tackle. All right, John London, live for us uh, downtown. Thanks so much.